All right. Uh, last playlist, I asked you to think about why this P series statement works. So the statement is that the series uh, one over n to the p uh, converges uh, if p is bigger than one and diverges if, if p is less than or equal to one. And I asked you last time to think about why this works. Um, and the main reason it works is that it's, well, it falls directly from the integral test. So the integral test says that if we've got a series that is uh, decreasing but still always positive, then uh, we can just take the integral of, of that expression and determine if that integral is finite or not, if that integral converges or diverges. So when we were talking about these uh, indefinite integrals in the first place, uh, we started using the examples, well, the integral from one to infinity of one over x, let me write this down, uh, the integral from one to infinity of one over x diverges, meaning that this sum is an infinite thing, um, whereas the in integral from one to infinity of one over x squared dx converges. And the idea was that this one over x squared approached zero faster than the one over x, and that sort of passed a threshold to make it uh, approach zero fast enough. Um, so when we were doing this, we determined that, well, as long as this exponent here uh, is bigger than one, uh, if p is bigger than one, this diverges. Oh, so, excuse me. If p is bigger than one, this converges. Whereas if p is less than or equal to one, it diverges. Um, and so this statement in conjunction with the integral test it just directly gives us this P series statement. In other words, the series behaves the same way as the representative functions.